Hello, hello again. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about sensuality, what that means, the five senses, and how this can connect back to you reigniting sexual interests and energy within your body to access more pleasure, especially if you're going through like a dry spell or some period of hibernation and feeling just like so disconnected from your sexuality, you might find this will help you. So last week I talked about the first step is relaxing the nervous system and doing whatever you have to do to get there and feel just at ease in your body, at ease in your environment, and how that is such a big factor into affecting your sex drive. So once you get to that place of relaxation and calming the nervous system, you can start to bring in presence and awareness through connecting to your sensuality. Now, I know when we hear sensuality, we think it relates to sexuality, but that is true, but it's not the whole picture, right? Because sensuality is simply just connecting back to your five senses. And I believe that this has been the number one shift I've made that has enhanced my sex drive dramatically. So what happens is when we are able to just ground in fully, and feel ourselves and notice our surroundings through our senses, whether it be hear, touch, sight, smell, and wait, hear, touch, sight, smell, sound. I think that I got them all right. <laughs> we are able to then feel at ease because of the presence. We are now aware of our surroundings in a way that is not, it goes beyond the relaxation of soothing the nervous system we are now bringing ourselves into this moment fully and we can start to tap into our surroundings in a way that feels way more magical and we can also choose our surroundings in what ignites our senses based on what we know we like so I know that for me auditory and sound is such a close gateway to my libido so I focus on things that might entice that, such as listening to a sexy audio or listening to uh, myself breathe and make some sounds in an embodiment work or my lover, I'll have him send me an audio. If music as well can be such a huge role, play such a huge role in enhancing that sexual fire and, and intimacy, right? in our environment. Now for other people, it might be taste. So you can experiment with taste. There's so many aphrodisiacs out there. Um, I know chocolate is a good one that people talk about and uh, oysters. I don't eat fish or meat, but you know, there's just those like kind of those ones that you hear that are cliche, but you can take your time and find your own that might satisfy these cravings that relate back to your sexual energy. You can also do this with touch. I mean, physical touch in itself is a love language. And you can start by touching yourself in a very soothing, intentional way. You can massage lotion into your skin. You can give yourself a nice head rub or scratch. And if you have a partner, you guys can exchange these touches as well. And you might find that in itself will ignite your sexual energy. Um, same goes visually. Many people are turned on by what they see. I know a lot of men are, but so are women. And maybe it means setting the space in a dim lit room or seeing your partner put on something sexy. And knowing that you're, you're leveraging those senses that turn you on and then doing things to help enhance those is just going to make your sexual energy spike like no other because there's intentionality in it you know yourself you're becoming aware and it might just take some practice and experimentation to find which senses ignite you the most and then there was also another one i forgot hearing oh taste sight sound touch I think I got them all. See, I keep doing that. But there's a sixth sense I wanna talk about too, which is the internal felt sense. And this is where you start to feel the inside of your body and your feelings and emotions come alive, or maybe they fall and they feel disconnected. And that might be how you feel right now, but your internal state of being, you can think of it as like your intuition, uh, your, your gut instinct, we like to call it. Um, I feel it deep in my womb and in my, my heart. So 
that is the sixth internal sense, which you can use as your compass as well to see how you're feeling and how you're reacting when you intentionally infuse your day and your senses in a manner that increases your sexual energy. And then next week, I'm gonna be talking more about connecting to your body and what that will look like for women. And if you're a man watching this, cause I do post this on my Facebook group for women only and also on my YouTube. So I wanna be sure that I touch every point. And plus, if you have a partner, you could always bring this up to him as well or her if you're watching this. Um, that'll be next week's video. And then we'll also go into breath work as well. So stay tuned for those videos. And I look forward to seeing you next week in my next video. All right, bye guys and happy sense tuning. <laughs> Peace.